And welcome everyone to the Riverside County Board Brief as we give you a brief look at what took place during today's Riverside County Board of Supervisors meeting. My name is Pep Fernandez and that's Michael Ambolo. He is the Chief Financial Officer for the county. And Michael, today the, the fiscal year quickly approaching uh, the end of it and we had a third quarter update during today's Board of Supervisors meeting. Why is it important to give those quarterly updates in front of the board? Uh, it's important to give the quarterly updates for a few reasons. Uh, firstly, we do a lot of transactions that culminate at the end of every quarter that we want to list in a, in a priority order in order for us to establish both public awareness as well as that we want the board to be aware of those large hit items, right? Mm -hmm. At that point, they're up for discussion, of course, for public comment, but also more importantly, a way for us to summarize them against our quarterly measure. So as you know, we have an annual budget. That budget is broken up into four quarters, and we want to track the progress as we go through the, throughout the year. So the third quarter report is extremely important because it's the last report before the final quarter of the year, the last 90 days. That allows us to assess whether or not our revenues and our expenses are trending and tracking properly as both forecasted by us as well as through operational usage. And it's important for our investors and uh, the rating agencies in order for us to determine whether or not we have measured and met our criteria associated with those forecasts. Are, are, are our revenues strong as predicted? Mm -hmm. Are our expenses measured as predicted? What are we doing to control those and so forth? So no uh, last minute surprises coming in the month of June before we get closer to July 1st, right? <laughs> That's correct. That's correct. As in, in present day, besides the third quarter report of the current budget, we're also preparing the new budget for the following year. So we use a lot of the data as we move from quarter three into the end of the year, the calendar year, or excuse me, the fiscal year, mm -hmm. into producing the new budget book. That makes a lot of sense. Michael, really appreciate the time. And uh, earlier today during the board meeting, Michael, you probably saw it as well, Supervisor Washington, talking about this third quarter update. Um, so I have watched um, our CEO, Jeff Van Wagenen, pull together and show real leadership uh, in bringing the departments together in discussions of how we fund our highest priorities. Uh, he has done that in a way that not only has produced the last two years uh, budgets that have a lack of deficit spending, but also have increased our reserves. We have been shoring up our public safety through our investments in personnel and infrastructure. Um, but we recognize, even though the pace of our revenue uh, had been growing pretty dramatically in recent years, it is slowing and costs will continue to rise. But we've continued to uh, move forward with that lack of deficit spending, increasing our reserves while making investments in our personnel. As we look to the years ahead, we need to maintain, replace aging facilities, which adds financial pressure. But we're taking the steps necessary to get ahead of this, being proactive instead of reactive. That was Supervisor Chuck Washington from the 3rd District. We had two presentations during the board meeting today, one of them being for Memorial Day coming up this Monday on May 29th. Join us now is Adam French. He is a senior veteran services rep here for the County of Riverside. And Adam, what a great time to just make sure people out there are aware of a lot of the services offered by the county for our veterans. Um, what would you say to those out there, maybe even watching the board brief today about if there's a veteran or a veteran in their life that might need some resources? Uh, I appreciate the time. Mm -hmm. um, what we do at uh, Riverside County Veterans Services is we provide, um, uh, we get veterans in touch with their VA benefits such as uh, disability compensation, pension benefits, there's some education benefits that we can do and the, a number of others. But really we are that resource, that connection between the veteran and their VA disability um, uh, benefits. And what are some of those tools, some of those resources that a veteran might want to reach out and, and you know, access and take advantage of? The primary one is going to be your disability compensation, uh -huh. um, we, uh, health, VA health care benefits, and then uh, we uh, assist them with their uh, VA education. Uh, our elderly, particularly our elderly veterans, there is a, uh, a pension with aid and attendance benefits. So really any kind of way to assist the veteran um, in um, in filing for their disability claims, their education benefits, their health care. That's really what our focus is. And finally, Adam, any kind of a personal message coming up for Memorial Day on Monday? Well, I, we just want to extend our, our uh, gratitude to the family, the service members and their families uh, that have lost uh, loved ones during uh, uh, 
during their service. So we want to extend our thank you, our thanks, our, uh, our appreciation for all that they, that they have done for our nation. All right, that's Adam French, uh, Senior Veteran Services Rep. During the meeting as well, we had Ralph Duarte, not only a veteran, but also a, an employee of the County of Riverside. He spoke as well as Supervisor Washington about Memorial Day. It is critical that we as a county recognize the importance of Memorial Day and remember those who died while serving in the U.S. Armed Forces. From one veteran to another, thank you all, those here today and those who have served our great nation. I'd just like to uh, thank the Board of Supervisors um, for recognizing this um, important holiday, Memorial Day, and that we all take the time on Monday to remember um, the sacrifices that our men and women paid for our freedoms. And finally, we had a second presentation during the Board of Supervisors meeting today. Again, recognizing county employees with 25 years or more of service here. Uh, let's take a look at some video from earlier and not just 25 years. How about 45 years for Deborah Johnson in behavioral health? Today it was uh, recognizing those folks in Assessor Clerk Recorder Office, RUHS, Behavioral Health, TLMA Transportation. In fact, in TLMA and Transportation, Paul Russell had over 50 years and uh, Mark Winchak had over 53 years. In fact, he started in 1969 and he is still with the County of Riverside. Let's hear from uh, Mark Lancaster, the, uh, the d Director for Transportation, uh, talking more about his uh, two employees with 50 years or more of service. So as you can see, Paul is very well liked. He started in, in October of 1972, um, has over 50 years of experience. I have been director for about two and a half years and I've yet to stump him on where a road is located. If I name a road, he knows exactly where it is in the county. That is amazing to me. So Paul, thank you very much for your 50 years. And if that wasn't enough, we have a person with over 53 years of experience. Started in November of 1969, uh, when I was just a wee lad. <laughs> and uh, he's, he's been with us ever since. He works in our materials lab. And Mark Winchak, please come on up. Uh, Ms. Johnson has been with our uh, department since uh, a good number of our, longer than our, a good number of our executive team has been alive. Uh, <laughs> it's true. Uh, despite that, she remains among uh, the most innovative and hardest working folks that we have. Uh, we all want to be Ms. Johnson when we grow up. Uh, her dedication to our consumers and the community uh, is unparalleled. Well, congratulations to Paul, Mark, and all those honored today during the Board of Supervisors meeting. My name is Pep Fernandez. That's going to do it for this edition of the Riverside County Board Brief, and we'll see you next time.